Brothers and sisters, thanksgiving, testimony, prayer meeting on our first Sunday of the month of September. I want to take a very brief exhortation. Um, before that, let me just remind us that September is a very important month. It is the last month of the third quarter and the first month of the months that are called the ember months. I always call the month of September the beginning of the ending of the year, the beginning of the ending of the year. Uh, once September has run through, know that that year that has run, that the, the, the trend to the end of the year is, is, is set. Glory be to God. So let's take a quick exhortation as we look at Psalm 90 verse 12. Psalm 90 verse 12. The Bible says this, says, so teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Because some people may say, what is it about a day? What is it about a new month? What is it about a new year? Beloved, as the scripture there says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. One of the ways we can apply our hearts to wisdom is by thanking God for the time he has given to us. Because God is the holder of time. God is the holder of time. He owns the time. He determines the end of all things. His name is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. So we are here to thank God, to reflect of his goodness, his mercy, his love, all that he has done for us, if it were not for him, where would we have been? So that's why it is important, and it is wisdom to set a time to thank God, just as we have read in that scripture. Teach us to apply our hearts. Or teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. It is wisdom to thank God for the time he has given us. He has kept us to see the month of September. And as I've said, the last month of the third quarter and the beginning of the ember month. It is a month that marks the beginning of the ending of the year. And for this year, particularly the year 2022, this year that is typical of a roller coaster, according to God's word that he has given to us from the beginning of this year, in fact, since November last year. So indeed, we, we ought to thank God. Glory be to God. So I pray for you. I pray for every one of us that the blessings of the month of September will be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. We will come to the theme of September for us as children of God. But let's quickly also look at the wisdom of understanding time. In 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32, 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32, the Bible says something very profound there about a people who understood time. 1 Chronicles Chapter 12, verse 32. If you're there, wait for me. <laughs> okay, let's read it. I'm, I'm there now. Then the Bible says, Of the sons of Issachar, who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, their chiefs were 200, 
and all their brethren were at their command. The one who understands the time controls, has control. The one who understands the times has control. As I often tell people, uh, if in, in some seminar opportunities, and I did have opportunity during the COVID, when some people were shutting down, and since God helped us to understand the times, I told those who were shutting down that don't shut down, <laughs> run, because this thing is going to stay for long. It is something called, you know, some people talk about the paradigm shift. It, it is indeed a shift, a disruptive event. You've heard me say that many times. So rather, key into what the, it is bringing, and there are people who make billions. New billionaires sprang up because they understood the time. So it is very important. The one who, un, who, who understands the times, what you ought to do con, has control. The one who understands the time, what you ought to do has control. And that's why for us here, we really have to thank God who has continually spoken to us. And we shouldn't panic about whatever happens. And so brothers and sisters, it is wisdom to thank God. Are you ready to thank God today to testify of his goodness, of his mercy, of his law, to tell him, Lord, my times are in your hands. I love that song that says, my lifetime, I will give God my lifetime. My lifetime, I will give God my lifetime. I always modify it as I give God my lifetime. He will take care of me. He will never, never let me down. Lord, I give you my lifetime. So the sons of Issachar understood the times and what Israel ought to do. And they were in control and their brethren listened to them. It is important for us to always seek God's timing, to always seek and connect with God's timing. And thanksgiving, testimony, prayer for any time that is set is one of the ways, the wisdom of connecting with God's timing. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for giving us this time, this season. This month of September to enjoy all that you have provided for us. And thank you for this exhortation, Lord. We ask that your spirit will help us as we go into thanking you with our thanksgiving prayer, with our testimonies, Lord, and committing our lives to you. Let your Holy Spirit help us. And Lord, let this word that we have heard Minister even more deeply and deeper to us. Give us understanding of the times and seasons more and more. Let no time ever come to us by accident. Thank you, our Father. Prepare us well ahead. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So we are going to go into Thanksgiving prayer. We will thank God individually, and then we will ask some groups to thank God. We will ask a woman to thank God on our behalf, Sister Comfort. We'll do that. We'll ask a youth to thank God. Um, Abby will do that for us. We will ask a man to thank God, and Brother Dara will do that for us. So when we say thank God, you just express your gratitude on behalf of uh, the women fold and everything that you, 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 you yourself represent as uh, 
worthy of giving thanks to God. Same with the youth. You represent the youth and express beyond the youth, whatever the Spirit of God puts in you, same with a man who would thank God. After that, we will share our testimonies and then we will go into prayer for the season. You know, we have words for the month, I mean, for the year and for the month and even for nations. So let us pray. Every one of us now is time for you to thank God, just like I shared in that song. Thank God for the next uh, two minutes for your life, for your family. Go ahead. Tell him, Lord, I thank you. I'm so excited. I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful, Lord, for all you have done for me. I thank you for keeping me alive to see the month of September. Thank you, Lord, for health. Thank you for provisions. Thank you, Almighty God, for deliverance. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the salvation of my soul. I give you thanks. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty God, for bringing me this far, for bringing my family this far, for bringing my brothers and sisters this far. Lord, we thank you. I thank you, Lord, on behalf of this platform, the Surefire Life Conference platform. I thank you for your word, for the mystery of your word, of Christ, of God, that you have been teaching us, revealing your truth to us. Lord, thank you. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the ministration of your spirit. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. I thank you, Lord. To you, our Father, be all glory. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. So we'll do our group thanksgiving now. So we'll ask Sister Comfort to pray a prayer of thanksgiving. Strictly thanksgiving, man. No requests whatsoever. Only thanks and blessings and praise to God. Go ahead, please. Open the line and thank God on our behalf, behalf of the women and all that the Lord puts in your heart. Feel free. Go ahead. Almighty, victorious, thy and great name we pray. Almighty God, my Father, my God, yes, my friend. Oh, yes. The hearers of prayer, the rock Hallelujah. of ages, the great I am. Hallelujah. Dragon, you are good, our awesome Father. Oh, yes. The Father that is nearer mm -hmm. than anyone, mm. even, even though you are so far. Mm. My Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. My God, I glorify you. I adore you. I worship you. Oh, yes. For because of who you are. Mm -hmm. I thank you for your goodness. Mm -hmm. I thank you for your faithfulness. Mm -hmm. I thank you for your mercy, your grace mm -hmm. that is so abundant. Mm -hmm. Father, we cannot measure it. We cannot count it. Father, all our so everything in us, we say thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. God. For who you are, the God that is so faithful, mm. the God that never fails, mm. the God Hallelujah. that says and it, it comes to pass, Hallelujah. the God that proves to be whatever he chooses to. Hallelujah. For what you have done for women, we say thank you. Thank you. For Making us who we are, Father, we say thank you. Thank you. For your blessing every morning, Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Helping us to wake up to see today, God, we are saying thank you. Thank you, God. Providing a platform that we can come together to sing mm. your praises, to Allow worship me. you, to glorify oh, yes. you, yes. adore you, Father, we say thank you. Thank you, God. 
Even though we live in the darkest part of the earth, the world, Father, you make your name shine. Mm. We say thank you. Thank you. Lord. You find us worthy to be your children. We say thank you. Thank you. Father, your faithful son, Jesus Christ, we say thank you. Thank we you, thank you Father. You don't count upon our error. You don't look how small we are. Father, you love us unconditionally. Oh, yes. So thank this you, love, Lord. Father, we say thank you. Thank for you. For your goodness, we say thank you. Thank for you. For your mercy, your grace, God. Thank you so much, Father. Hallelujah. We cannot thank you enough. Oh. Then we, say, we join our voices together and say, you are worthy, our God. You are worthy. So receive all the glory. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So receive all the honor. Hallelujah. So receive the worship. Hallelujah. So receive all our praise. Hallelujah. And say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. you. Yes, The Lord. great I am. Yes. The God that has no beginning, mm. has no end. Generation mm. after generation, mm. you are our God. We make you our dwelling place oh, and we yes. say thank you so much. Thank our you, God. Of ages. Oh, yes. All ways you are there to shield us, to protect us, to cover us, to deliver us, to heal us. Father, thank you. Thank you. We Lord. are grateful. We as human being, your children, say thank you, our Father, for thank your good. You. Receive all our praise in the name of your Son, our Savior, our Comforter, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And all say amen. 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 Thank you so much. Now I'll be. Thank God. In Jesus' name. Amen. God, we thank you for the youth. We thank you for how you have kept us. Thank you for the people that you have kept us in their care. Thank you for the people who are taking care of us. And for those who are older, for the opportunities that you've provided for them. We thank you for uplifting our spirits as we are growing up in a seemingly only downward spiraling world. Climate change is at alarming levels, economic crisis. And although these things and the amount of information we're consuming everywhere and every day, can make us unhealthily conscious of these things. We thank you for your protection and we thank you for the hope that we have in you. We thank you for how we can always cling to you for help and for renewal. We can believe that the things we do are worth it because you ordained them for us to do. We thank you for um, provision as always thank you for preserving us and for keeping us mm. and we we'll just thank you for our futures because we believe that they are your plan and yes. they will come thank to pass in your time and in your own you. way thank in just name of giving thanks amen and all say amen thank you so much Abiofo, for that you perspective of thanksgiving. Wonderful. And now, on behalf of the man, Brother Dara will thank God. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We exalt and bless your name because you're king. Thank you for your mercies that spread abroad over our lives. Thank you for being a, for being a banner. Thank you for being a protector. Thank yes. you, Jesus, for the strength that you've given unto us as individuals and collectively as a platform. 
Mm. Thank you, Lord God, for your word that has been strong in our midst. Mm. Thank, Thank you, you, Jesus, for being the one who teaches, who instructs, mm. who guides, who directs, yes. and who Thank have you. consistently shown us the light and the path that we might walk therein. Yes. Thank you for emboldening our spirit in this season. Thank oh, you, yes. Jesus, for helping us to wade through, to leap over walls, to run through troops. Jehovah, we are grateful. And this morning, on behalf of men, on behalf of women, on behalf of youths, on behalf of us all, we come to return thanks. We say receive the grace in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. amen. And all say amen. Thank you so much, Brother Dara. Thank you. God bless you. God bless all those who have uh, represented us giving thanks uh, to God. So now we're going to share our individual testimonies before we go into prayer. Testifiers, in two minutes, share what God has done for you. Yes, Sister Comfort, please go ahead. After Sister Comfort, Brother Dara. I want to sing my mother's song. Yes, please. I'm in the mark. Wow, you need an toro Jehovah. Give my seal. Give my seal. Give my seal. I'm in the mark. Wow, you need an toro Jehovah. Give my seal. I'm in the mark, wow, you need an toro Jehovah, he might see, he might see, he might see. I'm in the mark, wow, you need an come Jehovah, he might see. So I thank God for Interpre this. interpretation. Yeah. My mother always said, where will she take a loud voice to praise Jehovah for his love for her? Mm -hmm. So I'm always so happy to remember that song and I'm always singing it all. I did, I did, my voice is not loud enough. I don't know who has a loud voice enough <laughs> to praise Jehovah. Oh, yes. And Jesus Christ. Oh, glory be to God. He's, he's just good with our voice the way it is. Just go yes, ahead. Yes. Glory be to I, God. I, I, I think it was uh, not that her voice wasn't loud. She was saying how awesome, mm -hmm. for how great, for the wonderful things God has done. There is no, there is no voice mm -hmm. loud, loud enough, enough. Oh, for yes. her to praise God. Oh, for to be God sufficient for what God, God has done. God. God's goodness. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So that is my testimony that uh, he has done so much for me. I woke up in the morning. When I say, Father, my confidence is in you. I sleep and I wake up because I know you are there. And I wake up not because of my strength not because somebody wakes me up because of God's love. Yes. My family, every, I, am, I think I am so grateful for what he has done for me. Yes. And also for this platform, mm -hmm. sometimes I say, ah, well, why don't I go and look for where to singing and do, but each time I come here, and listen and participate. I think I tell God, thank you so much. Uh, like they say, the thing we are there for Sokoto, is there for your Sokoto. So oh, don't go far, God is there for you. So Amen. I thank him for always reminding me that he is near. And he's oh, near yes. and so thank you so much. We thank God, nearer oh, than we can ever oh. imagine the glory and i thank him for his love for me and the family 
Aming para mong eko mudwa. Sem para dende bima bong. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Okay, next person. Yes, brother, go ahead. Good morning, sir. Um, I want to thank God for being a shepherd over me and my family. Um, I remember about three months ago when, when I welcomed my son, um, there were a lot of things as a, as a human being, there are lots of things that were, you know, flooding my mind. Um, I wasn't sure how we we're going to handle the fact that, especially that sleeplessness and so many things that I, I, I didn't um, realize that would come up, you know, but one morning I woke up and I heard a voice say, when you step into your day, step into it with the confidence that you have me and do not panic. And I held on to that. And it's been three months and sincerely, that word, um, Psalm 119, verse 105, he said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That's exactly what God has been to us um, in these last three months. And I just want to say thank you to him. And he just shared this as a testimony that he's been faithful and he has never left us. That's a word of testimony from me and my family. Thank you. Thanks be to God. That is wonderful. Wonderful. Next, feel free, open the line if you want to share your testimony. Okay, Brother Sonny, please go ahead. I want to thank God uh, for what God has done for me. This is the month of uh, September. God has been so faithful to me, keeping me. Uh, I will not fail to mention the fact that uh, I've just uh, completed the month of uh, August. August, yeah. Which to me has always been the month of challenge in terms of my health. Mm. I think uh, before now, uh, it has always been that whenever I get into the month of uh, August, I'll be sick and Mm. An outsider might not really know why I keep on talking mm. about it every time because I am the one who used to pass through it. Mm. Mm. I know what I used to pass through. Glory when you are to Jesus. an adult and you cannot walk from one place to another, mm. you feel tired all the time and you mm. be sick. Glory be to God. By but, the stripes uh, of Jesus. I have to see that... Um, Wait, this constant testimony has been a source of help to me. I have sometimes as a human being, I used to be listening throughout last month to see if the symptom will be there again. Mm -hmm. But when I oh, check through it, will not be there. Jesus so is real, his healing is permanent. permanent. Glory be to God. I'm not any hospital, not you no know, symptom of sickness of any kind, because all the time when the word of God comes, the pastor will say, You have to believe God, believe in him that he can the word of God. Is your healing, and I claim these things. Mm. Nothing oh, makes me yes. happy, happier than having this experience that in 2022 I've not been sick. So oh, I have to Lord thank God for this. Sir. I have to thank Lord you for everything. I've done. I have to thank him. And if I have a bigger mouth than this, I would have thanked him more than this. So oh, I yes. said that in his name, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. I think we just use this because there are so many testimonies. We can never exhaust God's testimonies in our lives. We can never. We use these as representatives of the various testimonies, the various breakthroughs God has given us. And we return all thanks and glory to him in Jesus' name. So let us pray for these testimonies. And, you know, hearing these testimonies, um, they just 
ah, get me very excited. And of course, uh, the things that are happening around us, for me, are even, uh, should I say, shocking testimonies. Because as I shared with us and said, when in 2020 or 2019, the Lord started speaking to me, God's spirit, by his spirit, about the things that were going to happen. And as I told you, I said, uh, around February 2020, when I was telling a fellow pastor, I said, as you're going for that meeting, that's the last one you will go this year. So go enjoy it very well. And in March, there was a shutdown. And he called me later and said, what did you see? I said, I didn't see anything. The spirit of God just prompted me and said, tell him. And I said, because he had spoken to me already about the year, what was coming. And so when November last year, if you remember that program and the word started flowing again about well, this year, roller coaster, and suddenly even business analysts are using the term roller coaster, dramatic, dynamic changes, all that. Anyway, and here we are. So, and you keep seeing it every day. And you, I just can only say, God, thank you. God, thank you. When we come to the place of prayer, we'll go through this. Because uh, to testify, I mean, okay, let me just share it here. And when it came to my country, Nigeria, let me say it clearly now, and you, are, you would have heard right from the beginning of the year, I asked us that by the Spirit of God, the message I've received is let us pray for God to raise a fresh branch, that's the exact word, a fresh branch to lead us in righteousness. In fact, in the month of May, Sister Comfort shared a post from a group who are praying, let things fall and die and all that. And when she shared it with me, I said, the problem is that we need to listen to God and pray according to God's will. So again, I shared that message back with her and said, share with the Christian group that we have to, number one, repent because we are part of this problem. We are part of the people who have brought this problem upon ourselves in Nigeria. So let us repent. And then number two, have we repented? Ask God to stay away the evil from us. And then number three, ask God to raise a fresh branch. That's the prayer God asks us to pray. Let's raise a fresh branch. Very recently, I was just speaking with another pastor, and when I shared that with him, he said, do you know God has answered your prayer? I said, let us just keep praying. Beloved brothers and sisters, when I see what God is doing, I can only say, Father, like David said, who am I that you should show me this kind of favor, this kind of goodness, this kind of mercy? And I know he's taking us somewhere. He's taking us somewhere. Just stay, do what God wants you to do. And at his time, he will bring you to that place he has ordained for you. He has brought, he has ordained for me, he has ordained for us. So all glory be to him in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's pray together. Pray with me. And you say amen as we round off this testimony section. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the testimonies that we have brought to honor you, to praise you to indeed prove that you are God and you are with us, to appreciate you. Father, we ask that you receive all these testimonies, the ones we have said and the ones we have not been able to say in the mighty name of Jesus. It is of our power. It is of our righteousness. It is not because we are better than anybody else. It is simply by your mercy that you have done this for us. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the great works you have done. We have testified of your mighty works, so much so that we don't have enough loud voice 
Our voices are not loud enough to thank you, to praise you for the wonders, the marvelous works you have done in our lives and in our families, in our midst. Father, we have testified of your healings. We have testified of your voice speaking, guiding, being a shepherd over us. Father, we have testified of you revealing even the calendar, if we put it that way, the events of the year to us. Who are we? Father, we have testified of your healing, proving that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed and you are with us. Heavenly Father, we have testified of you answering our prayers. Heavenly Father, we have testified of you intervening in our matters in various ways. And all the other testimonies that we have not even spoken. Lord, with a heart of gratitude, we say accept these testimonies. And Lord God Almighty, you give more to a grateful and a thankful heart. And so we ask, Lord, as we have testified, as we have thanked you, as we have praised you, Almighty God, multiply according to your covenant with us. For you said to our father Abraham in blessing, I will bless you in multiplication, I will multiply you. God Almighty, we ask that greater, bigger, mightier, more in numbers, in multiples, hundred folds, testimonies shall abound in our lives. When we come in the first week of October, our testimonies in September will be awesome. They will be far greater in quantity in magnitude, and all glory will be to you, our God. Continue to be to you, our God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. And Lord, we testify of you preserving us and for the salvation of our souls, which is so important. For the eternal life you have given us, for your Holy Spirit you have given us, Lord, we ask that you will continue to keep us, preserve us, protect us, and let us walk according to your will and grow in your grace and do your will. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray now, brothers and sisters. And you know our theme for this month is the month of divine settlement. This is our time, divine settlement. Let's go there and read our scripture, Isaiah chapter 54, verses 11 through 14. Isaiah 54, 11 through 14. Please open it with me because this is the scripture we'll be reading quite often this month. And you know our text for the year, the two of them we have been reading so often. Uh, John chapter 10, verse 10, uh, part B, which is our focus. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. So our theme for this year, this year remains our year of abundant life. And you and I, we all shall continue to enjoy God's abundant life in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Focus for the month of September, our month of divine settlement. Isaiah chapter 54, we start reading from verse 11 to 14. If you are there, let's read it together. Oh, you afflicted one, tossed with tempest and not comforted. Behold, I will lay your stones with colorful gems and lay your foundations with sapphires. I will make your pinnacles of rubies your gates of crystal and all your walls of precious stones, verse 13, 
All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. But in the last verse, in righteousness you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. This shall be your portion, my portion, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Indeed, you can read that whole 15, 16 to 17. As we have heard, the word of God is very important. So this is our focus, divine settlement. Whatever affliction, whatever struggles we have been struggling with all through this year to this point, this month of September, God will settle it. I say, God Almighty will settle it for us. Whatever has been contending with our lives, with our destiny, with our faith, with our growth, a time of settlement has come in the name of Jesus. And the Almighty God will beautify your life, beautify my life. As that scripture says, he said, behold, I will lay your stones with colorful gems and lay your foundations with sapphires. I will make your pinnacles of rubies, your gates of crystal, and your walls of precious stones. And your children are not left out of this. The thing says, all your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. What a word. What a word of encouragement. Divine settlement. What thing says, in righteousness you shall be established. I say you shall be established in righteousness this month. We shall be established. It says, we shall be far from oppression. For we shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near us. No matter what is going to going on for the remaining part of this year, this ember month, we shall enjoy the beautification, the glory of God in Jesus' name. I want us to start this prayer then using Genesis, Genesis, the story of Isaac, talking about contention that must come to an end. Genesis chapter 26, please write it down because of our time, because we want to pray now for ourselves. We'll start reading from verse 17, and we'll stop at 22, but I encourage you to extend it to 25. Let's read quickly. He said, then Isaac departed from there and pitched his tent in the valley of Jarrah and dwelt there. And Isaac dug again the wells of water which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father, for the Philistines had stopped them up, had stopped them up after the death of Abraham. He called them by the names which his father had called them. 19. Also Isaac's servant dug in the valley and found a well of running water there. 20. But the headsmen of Gerah quarreled with Isaac's headsmen, saying, the water is ours. So he called the name of the well Isaac because they quarrel with him. Contention. He dug a well, they quarrel with him. He moved. Dug again, they quarrel with him. 21. Then they dug another well. This is the third one. And they quarrel over that one also. So he called its name Sitna, Sitna, 22. And he moved from there and dug another well, and they did not quarrel over it. So he called its name Rehoboth, because he said, for now the Lord has made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Let me give you uh, the literary meaning, because my Bible gives the literary meaning of those other two wells. Remember when he dug the well and it struggled with him or quarrel with him, he called it Isaac. Isaac means quarrel. Isaac means quarrel. And then in verse 21, he dug again and he quarreled with him 
and he called it Sitna. Sitna means en enmity, 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 opposition, hatred, or oh, adversity, enmity. And then he moved to 22 and dog again. Oh, this time God gave him divine settlement and he called it Rehobo, for God has made room for us. Raise your voice with me and say, Heavenly Father, in this month of September, I call it my month of divine settlement. Almighty God, as you ended the quarrel and enmity in the life of Isaac, so end every contention in my life, end the contention in my family, end the contention in my business, in my career, and every contention now in this month, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Father, end the contention. Begin to mention those contentions. Failure that is contending with your life and with your children, end now. Announce to failure, you must end now. Divine settlement, every contention, whatever is contending with me, contending with my life, contending with my destiny, contending with my wife, with my children, whatever is contending must end now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as you ended the contention, the enmity, the quarrel against Isaac, Father God Almighty, so end every contention, every quarrel, every enmity in my life and in my family now, in this month of September, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and announce it. Father, end the contention of failure. Father, end the contention of stagnation and move me forward and grant me success in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Almighty God, end every contention in my life and in my family. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Now raise your voice to heaven and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for bringing me into this month of September. Father, make this month of September my month of divine settlement. That every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week of the month of September, you will settle me. Oh God Almighty, be the one who settles me. Make room for me. Make room for my family. Make room for every one of us here. Room, let us enlarge. Let us move forward. Let us have success. Let us have your goodness. Let us have your prosperity in this month of September, in the name of Jesus. Pray, say, Father God, whatever we have set and desire to do in this month and in this year, Lord, help us. By your Spirit's grace, by your power, help us. Make room for us to achieve all our goals, all our desires, according to your will, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now pray with me according to that Isaiah. Say, Heavenly Father, color my life with your grace. Color my life with your grace. He said, Behold, I will lay your stones with colored gems. Father, color my life. Color my life. Beautify my life. Let my life reflect your glory. Re reflect your glory. Father God Almighty, make my foundation, oh God Almighty, like sapphires, like sapphire. Everything I do, Lord God Almighty, let it be filled with your glory. All these precious stones, they reflect, they represent the glory of God. So Father, color my life with your glory, with your glory. Color my life with your glory and fill me with your inner beauty. Let my peace and the peace of my children, the peace of my household, the peace of my brothers and sisters be great in this month of September in the name of Jesus. Tell him, say, Heavenly Father, according to your word in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 14, it says in righteousness, you shall, I shall be established. We shall be established. God, establish me, establish us, establish our families in your righteousness. 
and let us be far from oppression. Let us not fear. Let no terror come near us. Thank you, our Father and our God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Beloved, take one more minute and pray for yourself this month of September because we're going to come and round it off corporately again with a few more prayer points. Pray. Pray for yourself. Oh, you month of September, you are my month of divine settlement. The Almighty God contends with whosoever contends with me. The Almighty God contends with whatever contends with me. Contend with whatever contends with my family, with my wife, with my children. Contend with whatever contends with my brothers and sisters, everyone that is connected upon this platform. But Father, by your grace, beautify our lives. Color our lives with your glory. Let your goodness and your mercy overtake us. This is our year of abundant life in Christ Jesus. Let us enjoy that abundant life. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praised. Amen. Please, I want you to join me and pray that prayer according to the word that the Lord gave us that we should pray. I want us to Join me to pray for my nation and also your nation, because no nation is spared about the evil in the land. So pray with me and say, Almighty God, you who sees and knows all things, uproot the source of evil from my country, from where I live, from my father's house, from my family, uproot the source of evil from my nation, from my community, from my, my, from, from my neighborhood, and from where I live. Uproot the source of evil, O oh God. Let all those who have ganged up to, to perpetrate evil in my nation, in my neighborhood, in anywhere, anything that concerns me and concerns your people, almighty God, let all those who have ganged up to bring evil be uprooted, O oh God almighty. Let them be uprooted, uprooted from our nations, uprooted from our neighborhood, uprooted from anything that concerns us, uprooted from our businesses, Father, uprooted from the nations, Father, let your anger and fury be kindled against them and let their evil plots and schemes fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Raise your voice with me again and say, Heavenly Father, have mercy, O oh God. You said to Abraham, if you will find even ten righteous men, you will spare Sodom and Gomorrah. Lord, we plead because of the blood of Jesus Christ, not because of our own righteousness, the blood of Jesus that has been shed for us. We plead by the mercy, by your mercy, by the blood of Jesus. Father, please spare our nations, spare our land. Spare us, O God. Save us, Lord. Let your loving kindness and your mercy be upon us, be upon our nation. Forgive our sins, Father. And Lord, please stay the hand of judgment. Let your judgment come to an end. Stay the hand of judgment. And let the killings in our nations, in our communities, particularly in Nigeria, Lord, Nigeria has been rated as one of the places that terrorist activities have taken over. Lord, let the killings and oppression cease in our land. 
And Lord, grant us peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Now pray with me and say, Heavenly Father, raise up a fresh branch for us in Nigeria to lead us in righteousness and let your kingdom and the work of your kingdom be established. Father, let your kingdom and the work of your kingdom be established and let there be a revival in our nation, in Nigeria, and in other nations all through the world. Father, thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. For we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This is a prayer I wrote in May, and I've been praying it, and will continue to pray um, on this prayer points. Use it, pray it. Finally, want to bring all this together. Maybe you have a specific need. Don't shy away. Jesus is a miracle worker. Anywhere he went, he was doing good. In fact, the sign that Jesus is with you includes, includes miracle signs and wonders after you have received the transformation of the Holy Spirit in righteousness. So don't shy away from it as the sign of Jesus. And so on this first month, first day of the month, I want to pray if you're sick, just like our brother testified, you will be healed now. Jesus will heal you. The word of God is real, it's true. And whatever is that area of miracle you need, oh, this is the benefit that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he answers us. So you have your prayer request, now raise it to God. At this time, also present your goals for the year to God. We are going to agree together, and our Father will do it for us. Go ahead and present it now. Present, present it, present it to God. Oh, Father, thank you. I present my goals, my desires. Lord, you know my list. I've written them down. I present them to you, almighty God, that in this month of September, you will help me to achieve them all. Father, wrought your miracle signs and wonders in my life. Let your eternal life, divine nature, divine life manifest in me. Eternal life brings divine health. Eternal life brings divine promotion, divine protection, divine preservation, divine prosperity, divine provisions. Let all the blessings of the everlasting covenant, the abundant life in Christ Jesus, be my portion, be the portion of my wife, my children, my family, all your children who are connected with me here upon this platform, and all those who will come to receive your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Almighty God hear and answer your prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's bring our prayer to a close as we round off now. But before we do that, I want you then to return all glory to God just on your own. First tell him, Lord, I thank you. And I return glory to you for the thanksgiving of today and for answering my prayers and for the testimonies that are bound onto me for this September. Even thank him for that healing right away. Thank him for that breakthrough right away. Thank him beyond what you can ask or think or imagine. God will exceed all in this month of September. It is your month of divine settlement. It is my month 
of divine settlement. Every contention has come to an end. And the breakthrough of the Lord is with you, is with me, is for us. We must move and possess our possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's close now. Heavenly Father, let's say a big amen because we are agreeing now. Oh, we return all glory, all praise, all thanks to you for what you have done for us. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the prayer we have raised to you and for the answers we thank you. Almighty God, we agree together now. Whatever anyone here has asked, Heavenly Father, let that answer manifest your answer because you have answered. You said when we call on you, you will answer us. And so, Lord, let the answer manifest to him, manifest to her, manifest to us now in the name of Jesus. For those who were sick, yes, they were sick because right now that sickness is gone. We thank you for by the stripes of Jesus, they are healed, we are healed, and we remain healed all through the month of September and for the rest of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for whatever breakthrough we have desired, Lord, we thank you because that breakthrough takes effect now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, above all, Lord, let your meek and quiet spirit, that inner beauty that is so precious in your sight, your glory cover us, grant us. Lord, by your spirit, that transformation by your spirit, that we will walk according to your will and do your will and serve you and please you always. Thank you, our Father and our God. And let all glory be to you. Let this month of September, Lord, let our lives bring much glory to you, much praise to you. Continue to lead us by your spirit to do your will. Father, we return all thanks, all praise to you. And we agree together that all this and much more be done for us, for our families, for our nations, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.